Hey everybody. Well, I kind of got a game plan for the blazer now. I got the uh, I got the interior basically put back together. Uh, still missing a few parts. Got the straps, the pull straps that go on here. Uh, need to get some new mounts for those. Those are broken. Uh, I don't have the uh, pockets that go in there so I just put put covers on this side but I got all the carpet in the new carpet the dash uh, turned out pretty good got her back in there instrument panel uh, cover and everything so that's pretty good the center console is is cleaned up painted inside so I put the seats back in as they are. Uh, I'm not going to do the upholstery yet, but I'll get to it. I'll get to it at a later date. But I got that all the back uh, carpet and side rails are in, and so that's done. Here's the passenger door turned out pretty good i got new uh new bottom pieces i ordered these with the carpet the basis for the doors i just recovered recovered these um this was the original armrest which i repainted which i painted up and everything this door is good still need the clip or the pouch for this side also uh, let's see what else but I got new molding in around for the door so that's that seals up oh and here's the dash turned out pretty good all the I need a few more yeah dash turned out turned out okay Instead of spending four hundred dollars on a new dash, I'll uh, <clears throat> I'll just go with that. I'm missing a few pieces of trim molding. The trim here, up, up, up and around, over to this piece. Same on the other side. Missing those. I'll have to order those at a later date. But so, but as far as goes now the inside is functional i still got a don't know what i'm gonna do for radio and that type of thing but i only got the the uh cleaned up the visors they turned out pretty decent after i got them got them cleaned up but now i'm working on the uh Working on this uh, this exterior. I want to get it buttoned up for for winter. Get it primed. So what I'm doing at the present is cleaning off all this old uh, took off all this old stick-on molding and everything. Not too bad on this side. Uh, they had the the kick guards on these front of here to keep from chipping out that was hard to get most of that scraped off i still gotta use some acetone on that to get the rest of it clean of course a little bit of rust here that hasn't gone through or anything so i can uh, i'll just grind this down and same with underneath this rocker panel on this side is in good shape just got some surface rust on it uh, of course, I got this panel in. Got to get this back cleaned up. Just sand it down for anything that has any rust on it. Of course, that back panel has been in. I got this one done completely. Put a new panel in here. That done. Replaced a piece right in here. Got that one done. Uh, all done that's good present working on this door 
on the outside this one's had some previous uh bondo on here not super thick or anything so that's not too bad it was pretty straight but i ground all that off we got to ground back to uh where the bondo is solid to the metal because there was some some rust cropped up underneath here and it caused this thing to rust and put the ground off working on that a lot of grinding to do <clears throat> excuse me grinding to do on that so what I've decided to do, yeah, here's another piece of this uh, uh, plastic stick-on trim that I gotta get cleaned off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it from this line right here and come down and basically strip this off. Probably do the whole back take off the, the Chevy trim there and come all the way around here anyway you go from here down with black primer after I get the uh, after I get the the welds finish cleaning up the welds and get the, get the filler on those and get everything looking good then I'm going to primer from here down all the way around. Let's see. Then once I get that primed and ready to go, then I got to get her back on the lift and got to pull the transfer case and the transmission because the kick down lever or kick down uh, cable where it goes into the transmission it looks like they cross threaded the bolt and anyway so when I went to change that kick down cable the uh, bolt broke off in the transmission so I can't re-secure the kick down, new kick down cable into the transmission so it leaks So I got to pull that to get that bolt out and then just about ready I've got to get me I got to find a, a donor rig because the other things I got to do is I got to work on the brakes the uh, there's no power brakes so I got to work on that figure out what's going on there oh we got the Got the carburetor. I got a new carburetor, re a rebuilt carburetor on there. I rebuilt uh, another quadra jet that I had. And got that on. Motor's running good. It'll fire up now without a without any problems. So I need the brakes. Oh, I need power steering. Got to get the new power steering pump in it. Uh, Got to get a new radiator, because this one's not quite right. New radiator, power steering pump, the, fix the power brakes. Let's see, that's about it on the, on the engine side. Well, I'm gonna also, when I, I'm gonna put a new, uh, new distributor, new wires, new plugs. That give it a give it a tune up. That's where we're at on that. You got this game plan going. Here's the uh, old. Let me plug in this light. Yeah, here's. Here's the carb I took out of it. Actually, I was just going to rebuild this. And then I realized there was no, no, uh, nothing on the side of this thing. It wasn't all there. All the choke parts were missing. 
wasn't any choke parts. That's why I couldn't, wouldn't fire up stuff. I didn't even, didn't even think about it. I just thought it was the uh, accelerator pump wasn't working, which it isn't. But, but anyway, so that'll need some other. Here's the another quarter jet that I pulled off the 305. So the, it was on the Camaro or in the Camaro. I'll rebuild that one. So I've got like four quarter jets here that I can. Uh, I'll get at least three of them rebuilt. What else I got here for? No, that's a, there's a Holly there, and then I got a another uh, another carburetor there. So. Good on that, but anyway, the one in the blazer is ready to go. It's working good. I think that's the first time I've ever rebuilt a quadra jet. Really wasn't that. The uh, most difficult part was figuring out all the exterior choke parts and linkages and that type of thing but luckily i had an extra one to to go by it was still together made that easy one other little tip before we go if you got a lift and i've seen i've seen i watch videos of guys that doing the because two post lift you can't get into the doors but if you want to raise them up you can always use the lift to raise completely raise up one end and i didn't need to here but you can jack up the other end the back or you know the other side and put uh jack it up and put uh some decent stuff under there to block it up to hold it up to get it up off the ground and make it easier to work on which i'll probably end up doing when i do the camaro So I got the rust and the floor plans and stuff like that on the Camaro to, to change out. So, but I guess that's going to do it for now for the blazer. Just keep working on this and get her, get her primed up before winter. All right. We'll take care everybody.